Mirror Lake Remediation Restoration Project is the largest and most ambitious part of the Silver Lake Park Revitalization Plan that began in 2007. Over the years, it has suffered from some water quality problems. The plan involves two pieces. One is to remediate the sediments in the pond and two to uh, restore some of the habitat damage that's been done over the years. The product is called Sedimite. What this technology theoretically will do and has been tested to do is to bind the contaminants, hold on to them, similar to the way a Brita filter will do for your refrigerator water. It's amazing what this technology can accomplish to um, reverse the damage that's been done over generations. The nice thing was everything went smoothly. Um, the application was performed uh, within the expected time frame. 130,000 pounds of sedimite spread across the five acre area. So I was really excited to see this first uh, application performed in this kind of scale. We're learning a lot as we go. We're learning what kind of application devices work, what doesn't work. Uh, now we did use a couple of different methods. Uh, we did learn that the uh, telebelt, uh, which we had for a week, uh, that was our, our best piece of equipment. The areas that we couldn't reach with the telebelt, uh, which is some of the good prime fish habitat, uh, we used our induction horn. And although slower in application and rougher on the arms and legs uh, and backs for that matter, uh, we, we did use our volunteers uh, to get those areas covered and where we really couldn't get anything in, uh, we used uh, our hands and we spread it by hand. And, uh, rough guess, I'd say we had uh, 50 different people from Denrec uh, probably come down uh, to help us with the planting of the, the new wetland uh, as well as getting in the boats and helping us uh, spread the sedimite around. Department of Corrections boot camp folks, uh, they were our stars in this. We had a lot of buckets to fill. Uh, we did a lot of this work out of five gallon buckets. Well, we don't know yet if it worked, but we are hoping it is going to work. And the first uh, measurement that we are going to make is to see how much is in there in the sediments. Uh, first element of success for this treatment to work is for the carbon to, that we applied to stay in place in the lake. Uh, so we are here today to uh, take our first measurements to see how much carbon is there. and. Uh, we are working through the issues of uh, ice and uh, the cold weather. The next element is for the carbon to be performing. We'll come back next fall and we'll take samples of water, sediment and fish. Uh, we'll then compare those results to the results that we took immediately before we went to construction. Uh, so we're hopeful at that point uh, we'll be able to show a, a fairly dramatic uh, improvement in the water quality. We'll decide uh, if this type of technology at this scale uh, is ready for prime time. Uh, we'd like to apply this in uh, other locations uh, within the state. There is a lot of uh, historic industrial land use uh, to the north um, in the, the Wilmington area, um, along the Delaware River, uh, along the tidal Brandywine, uh, along the Christina River. We'd like to share our, our experiences and findings with others in the region and the nation and ultimately in the world uh, to address this problem that we have of legacy contaminants in the sediments uh, and then the transfer to the food chain.